Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a get it all done video, hopefully motivating you to start your weekend off with a nice clean house. First, I'm going to light this peach bellini candle to make everything smell great as I clean my kitchen and living area. My fruit holder was becoming a catch-all for Aubrey's baby food among other random objects, so I thought I would transfer her baby food into these awesome reusable pouches and store them in the freezer. I love using these with the attachable spoon rather than feeding her straight from the container whenever we are out and about. That way if she doesn't finish her food, I won't have to worry about it leaking and getting everywhere. Next, I moved on to the dishes. I figured I would wash out the baby food containers to reuse them later, either for snacks for Aubrey or for her to use them as toys. She's in a stage where she likes taking off lids and putting them back on, so these are perfect for her. In general, I like to reuse plastic containers at least once or twice before I get rid of them. You will see in a bit that I recycled a sour cream container. These are perfect for giving friends treats so that they don't feel the need to return a container to you. Or if you are going to eat a lunch out and you don't really want to carry around a dirty container for the rest of your outing. One tip for a clean kitchen is if you don't use an appliance at least three times a week, go ahead and store it in one of your cabinets or drawers. This will help make sure that your kitchen countertops are clean and uncluttered. Here's your reminder to go ahead and scrub down your stovetop little dials. Those things can get pretty dirty, so go and clean them right now. Well, actually wait until after the video, but make sure you get that done today.
I noticed that my fridge was getting a little too cluttered for my liking, so I decided to go ahead and quickly reorganize the shelves and disinfect as needed. Luckily it wasn't too dirty since I recently did a deep clean before Juan came home from his deployment. I then just wanted to give my sink a quick scrub to make it extra shiny and clean. After topping off my soap dispenser, I went ahead and dropped in just a few drops of this oil from the dollar store actually, and it is coconut citrus, it smells amazing, and it just helps the kitchen sink smell really nice. I then moved on to cleaning up Aubrey's area from dinner time. We had rice that night and rice was everywhere. So after wiping down her seat, I went ahead and disinfected that and just cleaned up the surrounding area. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. This mat was gifted to us by a dear friend, and it makes meal cleanup a breeze. Still, I'm better with than without you. Oh. The last little chore I wanted to do before I swept the floors was clean this window. This window is the one that Aubrey loves to go ahead and put her hands on as she's eating and it was just very smudgy.
We recently picked up this Bissell Symphony 2-in-1 vacuum and steam mop from Walmart and it has been a lifesaver. Before I would have to sweep our tile and then use like a billion Swiffer wipes to clean the floors. Now I can do both at once and when I'm done I can simply throw the mop cloth into the washer for its next use. As you can see, our floor got pretty dirty, so I was really excited to go ahead and finally mop these floors. This is pretty much the only clip that you can actually tell that the steam mop is working so I really wanted to show you guys that I really was steam mopping my floor, I wasn't just vacuuming. This used to be white you guys. It is amazing at how well that Bissell Symphony cleans our floors. I don't think I can go back. And the great thing is, is I can just throw it in with my laundry and everything will be good as new for the next time I want to mop my floors. If you haven't noticed by now, I vacuum this area of my rug a million times because it gets really matted down. Are there any tips for fixing that problem on your rugs? If not, I will just have to continue to do that. But you guys, these vacuum lines, I'm really enjoying rewatching this right now. And there you guys have it. I hope that this video inspires you to clean your house and get it all done. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. We'd love to have you subscribe and stick around and we will see you next time. Hey there, my name is Emily Flores. Welcome to my family channel, Lima Bean Living. If you're curious about the meaning behind that name, go ahead and leave your guesses in the comments below and the answer will be revealed in a later video. We post videos every Monday and Friday and they range from lifestyle, military life, cooking, cleaning, even some car maintenance and some math. Uh, we are going to try to do it all. So stick around, subscribe, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up.